In this video, we'll balance the equation for BaCl2 plus H3PO4, barium chloride plus phosphoric acid. Let's count the atoms up. We have one barium, two chlorine atoms, three hydrogen atoms, and here's a trick that we can use when we have polyatomic ions on both sides. So we have the phosphate ion here, and we have it here. So we're just going to call that one thing, and that's going to make the balancing a lot easier. So we have one phosphate ion. Product side, three bariums, and then one chlorine, one hydrogen, and then the phosphate, we have two of those. So that makes it a lot easier to understand what we need to do. Let's just put a three in front of the BaCl2, one times three, that balances the barium atoms, two times three, that'll give us six chlorines. So we could put a six in front of the HCl, one times six, that'll give us six chlorines, one times six, that'll give us six hydrogen atoms. Let's balance the hydrogen that might even fix these phosphates here. So if we put a two as our coefficient, three times two, that'll give us six hydrogens. Those are balanced, the two goes to everything. So we have our one phosphate times two, and that balances the phosphates. We're done, this equation's balanced. So you can see the utility. We count this phosphate as just one thing because it's on both sides makes it a lot easier to balance. Either way, you'll get the same answer. You'll get the same coefficients. This just saves time. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for BaCl2 plus H3PO4. Thanks for watching.